Gamers, there are six hours left until the Abyss resets, and I'm logging in to do it. I understand that I make a lot of comments about Genshin and that I don't care, but then why do I feel compelled to not waste these Primo Gems? Is it because I'm addicted to wishing? Yes! But also, I don't... I don't want to mess up my account. I don't want to waste all the effort that I put into it. And there's this little voice in the back of my head that holds on to hope, even though it really should be uh, hopeless. We know what they're doing with Genshin, and they're probably never going to make anything for me. But my question is, what would it take to bring me back full time? And what would it take to bring you back full time? There's a game that I love called RuneScape. And the big joke is, you don't quit RuneScape, you just take a break. But with Genshin Impact, realistically, if I quit tomorrow, I don't think that there's anything unless they make big changes that would bring me back or make me crave playing. So what do they have to do? What are they gonna do to bring me back? Let me tell you, cause I've got a great idea. But first, this video is sponsored by Riftstorm and I've got some really good news. They're currently doing a live public alpha for you to test out the game for yourself. Click the link down below and get started on the alpha today if you're interested in any sort of roguelike games. Riftstorm is a roguelike shooter with multiple different operators or characters as well as different weapons with a ton of different options for you to enjoy. Every time you play it's going to be a different experience with long-term progression, co-op play, and bosses for you to fight. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> if you want to try something new, click the link down below and wishlist Riftstorm on Steam. Keep your eyes peeled for any public playtests that they're doing, and thank you so much for sponsoring the stream. I will definitely be checking this out when it launches because I love roguelike games, so hopefully I see you guys online. Four years into the game, they have not added any more floors. No challenge floors, no different bosses, no new spin on the endgame. And I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but listen. They've built so many systems in Honkai Star Rail that they could implement here. They've got some awesome bosses in the game. Is there no way that they could just throw a bunch of them randomly into a world or a dungeon? I have to play through with a team that can deal with multiple mechanics. And as the game has progressed, there are more and more that they could throw in to puzzle you, right? If you look at the Wolf Lord, if you don't bring a Geo character, you're going to have a pretty bad time. If you start looking at this bad boy, if you don't bring Dendro and Electro, it's just going to be invisible the whole time. Certain Lectors might have a different shield, or there might be something that is going to be a roadblock if you don't pick a well-balanced team. And I think that it could spice up content tremendously. Maybe they just do an entire theme based on a particular element, and so you'd want to go in with the crazy Electro team or the crazy Dendro team. They have awesome, wicked bosses, but they haven't really fully utilized them, in my opinion. There's someone you go and you beat up, and that's the it. That's, that's all there is. But there's actually one thing in-game, one of the only times where I said, hold on a minute, this is progress. Do any of you remember this event where the cubes ended up getting these juiced up versions that even had different attacks? The electric one would put AOE electricity all over the map. They have the capability of expanding on the different fights that we have. And in Wuthering Waves, they do that. There's the base model that you might find in the open world. You run around and you check them out and, and there's the base level. But then they've got juiced up versions that get harder and harder with different moves and mechanics. And I feel like it's something they could easily build into the game that would be pretty darn exciting. And there are so many different enemies in the game. There's easy enemies, there's elite enemies, and some of them can be really interesting to fight. And when you start pairing different ones together, things can get kind of hectic and kind of crazy. I want lots of waves, lots of enemies. I want to fight. I want to fight all of them with different buffs or debuffs or mechanics that are going thrown into the field. I just want to fight stuff. They don't have to make this crazy, amazing raid like World of Warcraft, but just allow me to use my cool characters and fight stuff. I feel like this isn't a crazy request. And for some reason, a lot of the casual audience is like, ah, 
ah, leave our game alone. And it's like, don't you guys want to fight something too? Like, would, wouldn't you want a cool new activity with some bosses and buffs and debuffs and, and a place to use your characters too? The most casual person in the world. You're not going to have fun doing something different? I don't know. I feel like the narrative still in Genshin Impact is, is, is a place of just being okay with the game. And I understand that my complaining never changes anything. But I still can't wrap my head around it that no one else really seems to care about this. Well, some people do. Some of my commenters definitely do. I see that people have quit and they're not coming back to the game. And I, I question, what would it take for you? For me, if they put half the effort that they have in the TCG or the teapot, we'd probably be in an okay spot. But unfortunately, I know that I'm never going to get what I want. But that's all they would have to do. Some sort of simulated universe, some sort of actual roguelike, some new thing to fight. And I'm back. But until then, I just don't have a reason to play.